I'll do shows there and activate it at the weekend. But um, the house is sold now, so I'm not going to be doing that for much longer. Oh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, we've got the same situation um, about putting up um, antennas. At, um my qth uh so a bit of a no-no <clears throat> i'd rather go mobile anyway i think it's a bit more challenging mobile well yeah you, you, you get to speak you get to speak to so many more people as well you know uh, uh, from that white horse you can um, you, you know you get out to wales and um up north and um, all over the place from up there it's um pretty pretty good spot but um uh, another spot a bit further along, I don't know if you ever go there, is uh, Chalbury, Chalbury, is Chalbury Hill. It's Chalbury Hill, um, just, uh, just off of the um, road from uh, Bishopston. Oh, what do you know? No, not been to that one yet. I was at Westbury um, early on this afternoon at the, uh, the White Horse up there on top of the hill. Um, conditions weren't so good then. That was probably just before midday. Um, so I've drove across here to Uffington and um, obviously things have improved a lot more on, uh, conditions wise. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm on the other side of it at the moment, so I'm mainly facing north. Um, got a good view out over to the north and uh, east. Um, yeah, it's, it's mainly single track right up on the top as well, so it's pretty difficult to find somewhere to park up. I think there's a blue badge parking only car park at the top. Yep, no problem. Thanks for the uh, the contact anyway. Um, yep, don't want your shopping to melt. Have a great weekend, mate. Hope to catch you soon on Air UK 81 from Charlie Tango 4558. Have a great weekend. Thanks for the QSL. Thanks a lot, 73s, take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sunrise is in a few hours. Um, here I am in uh, Walbury Hill, sort of on the Wiltshire, Berkshire, Hampshire sort of borders. Um, what time is it now? Well, it's coming up to 5 a.m. and um, we're gonna be checking out the signals on the 555. Heard a couple of stations this morning, one in Spain. Um, haven't made contact yet, haven't set up, so um, we'll see how we do. So here we go on a beautiful sunrise at Walbury Hill. Um, is my CRT 9700. Um, quite pleased with it so far, quite a good little rig. Um, we're on the 555 at the moment. Um, heard one station, as I say, from Spain. Um, I had no contact yet because I've been getting set up. Um, yeah, a nice little rig. Uh, don't see many of these about, and I couldn't find much information um, on the web or on YouTube about it. So I'm probably going to do something myself about it, do a little bit of a review, um, sort of an overview on it, and um, see how it performs. So up here, it's uh, it's about half past five in the morning. We got here to look at this wonderful uh, sunrise that we got here at the moment up on Walbury Hill. A um, couple of drone shots, that's one thing going to be featuring on this channel as well. It's all CB radio related drones and a little bit of tech. So um, if that sort of floats your boat, then welcome along. Don't forget to subscribe. 
and uh, like the video if you can. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll give this a go. Hopefully we'll get some contacts. I wouldn't think um, we're going to hear too much until that sun is um, right up there in the sky and the propagation starts to uh, do its stuff. Um, it is a Sunday, so I don't expect anyone too early on here at the moment, but I've, I've mainly come up here to get some drone shots and um, um, go for a bit of a walk. So, OK, join us as um, we'll see how we'll do today contact wise. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much and have a good day to you. Propagation seems um, really good over the last couple of days and it's great to hear you in Germany. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend Charlie Tango 4558. Charlie Tango 4558, standing by. Hi now, uh, Welch here, just uh, south of Swindon, mobile static, south of Swindon. Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola. CQ, CQDX, CQ, CQDX. Charlie Tango, 4558. Five, Charlie Tango, 4558, five, standing by. I'm useless at remembering call signs, so there's a chance to grab me pen. There it is, and a pad. Let's try a uh, try and find a clean channel to get them to the USY uh, to Northern Germany on two seven five five O. He asked us to QSY on. Sorry about that. I got the tail end of that conversation. Um, time is it now? It's uh, just coming up 8 o'clock. Uh, it's my second contact. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my GoPro out and uh, just keep that running. I think I may be pushing it with a mic there and peaking. Oh no, 27. Normally I have it 28. Okay. <clears throat> One more won't do any harm. CQ. Oh. Go back to the calling station. CQ, CQDX, CQ, CQDX. This is 26 Charlie Tango 4558. 26 Charlie Tango 4558. QSY, QSY 695. 695. Standing by. Oh, we're going back to Walbury Hill. I, I didn't bother with Birdlip Hill. It's, uh too far, there's a road shut, so there's loads of diversions around country lanes, so I thought, no, we'll head back to Walbury Hill and then uh, head back. So, here we go for a um, bit of a sunset. Uh, that's due in uh, just under a couple of hours time. Um, the propagation seems to be closing down a bit now. It's uh, half past seven uh, in the evening. Uh, let's see what we can pull out. Uh, pull out the bag as it were. Yeah, this is a really narrow, twisty lane up to uh, Walbury Hill, coming in from the south side of it, so not ideal, but luckily there's not much on the road.
it back, I'll fix it for you, mate. They're easy to fix. Even if you blow the finals, it is not that much. Right, hang on a minute, there's a QSK, uh, QR, QSK, QRZ. Yeah, watch it there. It's uh, Charlie Tango 4558. Um, just mobile, static mobile um, at um, uh, Hungerford. Over. Oh, just down the road then. 4458, Roger. Uh, uh, well, you've got two Sierra Yankees here on the 114, and that's what keeps the other one. He's a 121 there, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. Thanks for giving us a check. Uh, what, what's your QTH? You're not far away, you say, no? Yeah, oh, well, I'm just outside Oxford, Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger, just up the road now. Yeah, the propagation seems to be sort of closing down a bit now, doesn't it? Uh, not to me. No, not to me, it's not. I'm, I'm on my vertical. I'm normally flat, so I don't only uh, on my vertical because I was uh, talking to a station in Ireland. The French guy come on the back of the beams. I had to go vertical so I couldn't be bothered to turn the beam around. And then, like, keys come on the side. Uh, and I just had to talk to keys there, Roger. Oh, uh, Roger, Roger. Anyway, you're coming in um, 5 by 5 here. You, uh, we've got a nice signal coming down this way. Uh, what, uh, what, what's your personal? Yeah, it's Mike. Mike, uh, India, Kilo Echo. Right, Mike. Right, Mike. Uh, Julian, my name is Julian. Uh, can you say uh, hello to Keith there? Uh, Zero Yankee 1-1, one, one, but 1-2-1, one, one, Roger. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Hi, Keith. Uh, Sierra Yankee 121. Uh, this is uh, Charlie Tango 4558. Copy. Yeah, Roger, I've got you 4 to 5, 4 to 5, S4 to 5 here. Uh, so you're right in the back of the box there. Oh, Roger, nice bit of kit. Yeah, I'm just using a CRT uh, 7900 with a standard mic at the moment. Um, I did uh, buy a Cobra power mic for it, but it's not a good match with this rig. It just sounds really muddy, so uh, I'll be sending that back. I think it's a uh, Capo 523 that I'm, I've just ordered. Oh, Roger, yeah. Um, what what uh, CRT radio you got? 609N, did you say? No, it's a uh, 7900, 7900. Oh, Roger, yeah, it's one of the pins you ain't got to use, and I can't remember which pin. Some people make mistakes in not putting a, putting a wire on that pin. I think, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, on the mic, there's a pin that you ain't supposed to use, and I can't remember which one it is off me head back to you. Yeah, Roger, I think it's pin four, but the, uh, the complication with this one is, um, when it was made up, it's obviously got to have an adapter because it's got one of these RJ45 adapters for the rig. Oh, I well, John, okay, yeah, wow. Yeah, um, I always found the car, I got a Cobra, I had a, a 609N when I first started, I had a Cobra on it, I uh, can't remember which one it was. And uh, I had some good reports on it, <laughs> so uh, it was better than the stop mic anyway, back to you. Yeah, I think I might have to have a look at the plug just to see how they have wired it um, because it, uh, the adapter came um, with the mic, which I got on Wednesday um, from Knights. Yeah, so I'll just check. I'm not sure if it is it pin four. It's possibly pin four that shouldn't be wired on that one, but it, it does sound really muddy. It's the Cobra M75, Mic 75, the power mic. Oh, Roger, on that. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I had. Well, I've got it somewhere actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it normally, they normally sound quite good. You know, I've heard a load of people with them. They sound better, like you say, in the stock mic. But um, it all depends, you know, whose voice is on it as well. Some people's voices sound better than others, etc., etc. But yeah, I think it might be pinfall. I can't remember. It's, 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 it's gone a bit blank at the moment there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so a lot of people make a mistake of wiring that pin and then it uh, can damage the radio there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, I had a few reports on it and um, they just said it was unintelligible no matter what gain setting 
I put on the rig or on the mic and believe you me I spent a good few hours uh, trying all sorts of combinations I even sort of listened back on a uh, on a shortwave um, set that I've got and it did sound absolutely terrible so um, it, it, yeah you might you're possibly right there there's maybe a wiring um, issue with it yeah, well, the, it comes with a four-pin plug, the, the Cobra, um, but the rig has got one of these like RJ45 connections like they're putting on ham rigs now. Um, so you have to have an adapter um, to the four-pin plug as well. So it, it gets a bit messy as well. So it could be the wiring to the RJ45 or it could be the wiring on the actual mic plug. Yeah, thanks Julian. Yeah, I might do that. Um, probably uh, strip it down tomorrow, warm this old soldering iron out and blow the dust off of that. Um, yeah, but you're right, I, sh I should be able to find something on the net to check out the wiring. Although, um, I mean, there's tons of information out there regarding the 6900, but for the 7900, um, there's not much at all. And if there is, it's, it's in French or German. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I got a little mic tester, I bought it yonks and yonks ago, that's handy that is, you just plug the mic into it, and I bought a load of adapters and I made up loads of different leads, so I, I can just plug a, a mic in and test any mic, you know, within reason, not everyone, but within reason, and it's really handy, and you've got a little speaker with it, it's a co co Cobra, I can't remember the model number, but I bought it yonks and yonks ago, Roger. Oh, Roger. Oh, that sounds interesting. Um, yeah, as I say, yeah, I'll have to have a mess around with it because it, it's a shame because it, it, it looks a really nice mic. Um, you know, and uh, I know Cobra's got a lot of legacy behind it, so you know they're not they're not renowned for producing rubbish. So it must be something to do with the setup there. Anyway, thanks, Julian, for the report. Um, I'll leave you with you guys there, um, Julian, and um, 73s to everyone else that um, you're chatting to out there, mate. Thanks very much. Okay, then, mate. Anyway, your audio is good, actually. Uh, you're sounding good, mate. You, you know, you're not um, crap, <laughs> I don't know what to say, with some of those radios. You're sounding good. Anyway, all the best there, mate. Catch you later. Yep, 73s. Thanks very much. Cheers, Julian. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, um, Keith. Right, there we go so another contact a local one oxford so oxford's probably um a good 30 40 miles from here um so yeah i think um we're gonna call it a night and i'm gonna try and get a sunset in on the drone so hopefully stick around for that